Hello, this is Alan Elliott, and this is Tutorial 3, If-Then-Else Statements, based on the book SAS Essentials. In this tutorial, we're going to look at if-then-else statements in the data step. You can see the items that we're going to cover in this list here. The first item we're going to look at is using if-then-else conditional statements. This is a way to create a new variable within the data step using if-then-else conditional statements. For example, if expression, then some statement, else, some other statement. For example, more specifically, if systolic blood pressure greater than or equal to 140, then we're going to create a new variable called high BP set equal to 1. Else, if that condition was not met, we're going to create high BP equal to 0. So this allows us to create the new variable high BP with two values, 1 or 0, based on that condition. The, co the comparison operators or conditional operators that we can use are can be uh, used either as a mnemonic or as a symbol. So for instance, at the bottom I have if systolic blood pressure greater than or equal using GE, but I could have used the symbol located also in the table the greater than or equal sign. In the same way, there are some logical operators I could use to make more difficult or more complex constructs. Uh, the mnemonics there you see and the symbols. And in my first example where I say if age greater than or equal to 19 and gender equal M, then group equal 1, uses the mnemonic. And in the second one, if treatment equal to A or group equal to 2, then category equal green, uses the symbol for OR. You can use either one of them. A more complex example uses the IF-ELSE or ELSE-IF structure. So if treatment equal A, then I'm going to set group equal to 1. ELSE, if treatment is B or C, I'm going to set group equal to 2. And finally, all the rest of them are ELSE, group equal to 3. Let's do a hands-on exercise. This is from page 83. Uh, open the file called decondition.sas and we're going to run this program. But notice first the if statement here. If systolic blood pressure greater than or equal to 140, then status, a character variable, is going to be set to high, else status is going to be set to OK. Now when we run that, you should get this answer here, uh, where we see a table that has a new column called status. This, this column was not in the original data set, and it's set either to, uh, to the value OK or high, depending on the value of systolic blood pressure. We're going to give you an example here to do, and uh, I'm going to explain it to you, then you're going to stop and do it. Uh, so this if statement uh, is a little bit more complex, uses the else if uh, clause in it. Uh, so if age is greater than 65, we're going to set group equal to senior. Else, if age is between 18 and 65, then group is adult, otherwise group is going to be youth. So go ahead and enter this into the code, and then uh, pause the video while you're doing that. Come back, and let's see if you got the right answer. Okay, this is uh, what you should have gotten if you uh, entered the code correctly. If, if you don't get this answer, go back and try again. But notice the new column here called Group and you'll see it has youth, adult, and seniors in it based on uh, the criteria in the uh, if statement. Okay, well let's look at another way to use if and that is to assign missing values. Uh, you need to be careful with data sets that you get from someone, some other source because a lot of times they'll have missing value codes in them. Uh, for instance, uh, let's say that we have uh, the, wor the variable age in our data set, and sometimes if, let's say, people didn't know what the person's age is, they put in a missing value code instead, like negative 9. Then what we need to do is change that negative 9 into the SAS missing value code, which is a dot. We can use an if statement to do that, uh, like if age is equal to negative 9, then age equal dot. In the same way for a character variable, if gender equal x, where x was the missing value code, then gender equal blank, which is represented by two quotes. So that's a very common thing to do, uh, and you need to be careful of that and make sure you set all the missing value codes in any data set before doing any analysis. Let's look at another example of using the if statement. In this case, uh, 
look at this statement. If age greater than 12 and age less than 20, then teen equal 1, else teen equals 0. Well, that looks like it may be okay, but you have to be really careful with this because look, let's look at the data below. Suppose age was missing already. Then uh, what, would, would be, what would be the result of this conditional statement? It would be that teen for ID number 4 would be set to 0. That may not be exactly what we want, so we may want to include a second statement uh, like this. Uh, notice the first statement is the same, but I added a second statement. If age equal dot, then teen equal dot. So I made sure that if age was missing, then I set teen to missing as well. So you need to be careful, again, to make sure that uh, anytime you use one of these if-then-else constructs, that you make sure that uh, it does all that you want it to do for all the conditions you want uh, you, you specify. Now let's look at a way to use if to subset data sets. Uh, so data sets can be quite large and they contain uh, many records and you may not want to use all of those records in a particular analysis. So one thing you might want to do is eliminate cer certain records from the analysis. And you can do that with an if statement. Uh, if expression, where what this means is SAS will only keep in the data set you're creating those records that meet this criteria. For example, uh, let's say I wanted to create a data set that was only females. I could say if gender equal F uh, in the data step, and what that would do is only keep those uh, records where gender equals F in my resulting data set. Another way to do it would be to use if expression then delete. So for instance, if I say if gender equal M, then delete. And if there are only M's and F's in my data set, this would have done the same thing as checking for uh, F, except this time I check for males, delete all the males, which would leave only the females. Let's do a hands-on exercise. This is on page 86. Open the file called dsubset1.sas. This is the file here. Note that there is a statement in here, if age less than 10. So when you run this uh, program, you're going to see the resulting proc print is going to give you the data set with all the data in it uh, that matches age less than 10. That's the only data that remains in the in the resulting data set called my data. Well, let's do a, a, an exercise where we're going to use the if then delete version of uh, the if statement. And what I want you to do is I want you to check to see if group equal A. And we want to delete all data where group equal A. So you'll have uh, uh, the expression if group equal A, then delete. Go ahead and put that in the uh, a program replacing the age less than 10 uh, statement. And uh, pause here and then come back to see if you got the right answer. Okay, this is the answer you should get uh, if you entered the code correctly. If group equal A, then delete ends up with this column here called group with no A in it, as we would have expected. Now let's look at uh, a final way to use the if then statement, and that is with a do program control in it. So here, if expression is true, then do some conditional statements all the way to the end statement. For example, suppose I want to calculate BMI, body mass index, for people who are age 19 or greater. Uh, then notice here I say if, here's my condition, age greater than 19, then do, and then all of the uh, a code in between the do and the end will be executed when this condition is met. So this gives you a way to execute a number of SAS uh, lines of code depending on the uh, whether an expression is true or not. Okay, so that's the end of tutorial three. Our next topic is drop, keep, sort, and more.